State Emergency Management Agency says firefighters are battling multiple fires across the state. That includes this one near Cambridge in Furness County. Officials confirm at least one person has died. We do not know that person's name yet. Three firefighters have also been hurt fighting those wildfires. And in northeastern Nebraska, firefighters are working to contain this fire. This is in Burt County near Decatur. KETV News Watch 7's Abby Peterson spoke to fire officials about what is fueling these flames. Abby? Yeah, Sarah, I spent the day in Burt County where you could see the thick smoke from miles away. The state fire marshal tells us that this year is different than past years and the community is stepping in to help firefighters and those who have been displaced and you can help. Dark clouds of smoke fill the daytime skies. Not far away, people trying to fill with gas. A long line of cars wait on the road because they can't go home. These people, they're coming in, they have nothing. It's people like this. The Oakland Fire Department is hoping to help. They're collecting anything that will help them get through the night. We're taking donations for the displaced families that are meeting up at the Lions School. Um, any donations such as water, Gatorade, uh, we're also taking donations of toilet paper and non-perishable food items. Johnson says they're also helping their department working tirelessly to stop flames so they don't displace anyone else. Somebody already brought in some food for when they get back and he, they've been out there fighting for a good five hours and it's greatly appreciated the support that we've gotten for them. When it comes to these fires, State Fire Marshal Christopher Cantrell says there are many factors. We've had more red flag warnings, you know, the fire, the red flag days uh, this year than any year since 2012. On top of the dry conditions and wind. Four wheelers and, and trucks. I know sometimes it's not possible if you cattle or go check on a field. But just understand that those are risk bearing activities. This among many other things. Johnson says as they fight through the fires, there's things you need to remember. With the winds being the way that they are, we don't know what directions the fires are going to go. There's heavy smoke. I know that it is a very curious thing. Just let our crews do what they're going to do. Stay safe, stay out of that area. The Oakland Assistant Fire Chief says they will be watching things overnight in case a fire were to restart. For more information on how you can donate to help those who have been displaced, click on this story on our website, KETV.com.